Yes. Here, please. Uh, okay, uh, sorry for. <laughs> I think it should be my turn, but uh, it's now I'm always a little bit late. So, uh, this is the actually joint work um, together with the University of Ghent and also my university from Slovenia, uh, University of Maribor. Uh, I'm coming from Faculty for Mechanical Engineering, and in the frame of joint project, uh, we analyze the slip line solutions for the weld joints because uh, we thought that uh, it should be the effect of a slip line uh, is changing during the CTOD test. And uh, here in our uh, paper, we want to present uh, what we are doing regarding the structure integrity assessment and uh, the steep lines for heterogeneous uh, joints uh, is important issue. So here is, uh, uh, we know that uh, people usually doing some simplifications. Even 20 years ago, in some researchers in doing in GKSS fortune sensor, they are doing by Schwalbe how doing also steep line solution. With the using idealized conditions, so it means elastic linear plastic solutions, and they found some correlation on the conservative level. But if we use this approach in conservative level, uh, it's often that we actually um, uh, over uh, we are too conservative, and our structures will be out of use without uh, reason of the reason. So uh, now in uh, our work. Actually, we are looking how such geometry, which is not idealized, can be used with uh, the idealized uh, structure. And the joint work was done together with colleagues from the uh, University of uh, Ghent and uh, also from the University of Limerick. So uh, we actually uh, found that, of course, the simplification, the final result should be the same crack line force actually regarding the for, uh, fracture mechanics parameter over the load, the two curves should be the, the same, then we can use this geometry for the opening like solution. It was the be published in the pressure uh, in the journal. So here, uh, as you know, if we have a, a single notch, tens of tests, then uh, notched, uh, the linear solution is 45 degree, it is in uh, theory of mechanics, and if we now we use this uh, test, uh, also according to new recent published standard, British standard, uh, it, uh, it doesn't one, and uh, we look at the area, where is the actually the heat effect zone can be also the barrier for sleep lines, and also we have the hardened region. This one region is uh, in the date by uh, micro hardness testing mapping and also we use here the steel for pipeline steel x50 uh, <coughs> with uh, also we follow this uh, observation uh, in uh, uh, like uh, elastic and the st with the strain uh, hardening uh, works to rigid and perfect plastic we also use the 3d simulation and we uh, use the that uh, uh, material, of course, is heterogeneous. So the approach is that we uh, sorry uh, we use here what uh, in well with uh, this uh, single edge notch and specimens that is welded, and we consider heterogeneous material. And uh, also, oh, sorry, here we see that uh, uh, if we doing the mapping, we may, we making uh, the points. It is 25 points by square a millimeter. It's density, and uh, so we follow these uh, points at the, at the beginning. So there is uh, just an elastic part. We have the 45, and when start to degree, this uh, angle beta is uh, start to change our, uh, regarding the slip lines. So it's uh, when you're doing uh, we use for equivalent. Uh, plastic strain. Uh, also, we got uh, we had support from the abacus 6.14 uh, solar use, and uh, here is the the specimen with the notch, uh, the side notch uh, row, and uh, we consider this uh, area that angle from 45 degree start to change uh, when the the cracks start to grow from actually notch. The radius of notch was 75 microns, and uh, sorry, 
and here is this uh, uh, the specimen uh, which we used. The, this distance was 10 times wide because we want to avoid the effect of creeps here, fixed end, and uh, we follow this uh, the, the process of the slip line on, on the, in, induced by a notch in the, here in the middle. So we vary the parameters like a model of elasticity to 200 gigapascals to 1000 and also the different hardening exponent from 10 to 500 and also different uh, depth ratio from 0 0.3 to 0 0.5. So we use here in the rapid ozone equation, which we have, here is the yield stress around the 500 of the base metal. We have the matching about 40%, uh, it means 1.4 is a uh, mismatch number. And here with varying of these values, we look for solutions. So if we start, for example, the model of elasticity with this hardening exponent, we had that uh, we have that uh, this point for uh, the lower uh, is the the here, and for higher model of elasticity comes to closer, and opposite effect is on the hardening exponent. So we can see that uh, the beta angle actually is here. Uh, it's a change during the, the process of a crack opening and with the CTOD solution, here's the open fine situation, uh, it starts to change and increasing with the beta is start to increasing with the CTOD value. For example, here is the for CTOD 2.3 millimeters. We see that the, the, the beta is the, the change when CTOD is moved and the, this is the solution for 0 0.1 and this is the solution for 2.3 millimeters of CTOD. So uh, we, uh, this study we validate uh, by experiment. Here is our mapping which we got. Here is the actually a hardened area in the, around the heat affected zone region. The notch was here located. Uh, so with the increasing of hardness but still we have this process in the middle of uh, blood matter. So uh, uh, our uh, test was done and uh, by using the di uh, digital image correlation, we followed this uh, equivalent plastic strain and this behavior we uh, correlate with our experiment results. So we can see that uh, this uh, slip lines solution <coughs> actually is with increasing of c comes closer and the angle is the beta is the change in the loading. So that uh, we have the primary branch and we have the change of this uh, in the second uh, secondary branch. So uh, so in the approach uh, we discrete algorithm for sleep line analysis based on plastic equivalent strain. We have on the beginning that is close to red to 45 degree. And uh, we found that this uh, slip line angle increased with the CTOD values, and slip lines avoid regions of the high hardens, hardens, and possibility for multiple deformation branches. So here we use this approach for uh, paradigm force, and uh, that's it. So thank you.